Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak regarding the newest event in Call of Dragons, which is about Alliance. And generally I like all the events when whole Alliance are being participated and in general I think that uh, rewards for this kind of um, events are pretty amazing, such as like Brink of War. And newest one is of course Alliance mobiliz Mobilization, right? In order for us to understand uh, how to utilize the new event and how to get as much resources and as much uh, rewards as possible, well, this video is for you, right? So let's dive in. Uh, alliance Mobilization is the newest event when 150 people from every single alliance which is uh, which are being selected uh, by the officers or by the leaders are participating in this event, right? This is like registration time, uh, matchmaking, whenever you're going to see who you are fighting with in terms of points, right? Because it's, of course, a competition between the alliances. And whenever the contest starts, you can actually go inside the event and this is the newest UI in terms of any other uh, event, right? In terms of theme, I like it really, really much. Everything is pretty understandable, but I will try my best to explain everything in a much simple way. So if something is not understandable for you guys, it will be better uh, at the end of the video, right? Here we have uh, my alliance name is still Hell Pirates. We have already gathered 43k points, which means uh, points are get. We can get points from the quests which are which are seen here, right? Every single quest, whenever you're gonna click it, uh, it will say what you have to do, and after that, you're gonna see how much points you are going to get. Uh, for your alliance right and there is different kind of quests like some uh, gathering quests some spending quests in terms of gems and like even some alliance bundle purchase of course uh, war footing and generally this icon on the quest it means you're gonna get, have to get more uh, uh, power from the uh, research or training so like there is a lot of uh, possibilities on how to how you can get more points for your alliance and generally if you are simply playing the game every single day and you are doing things normally uh, you will be able to get couple of uh, quests but some of the quests need some extra speed ups uh, some extra gems and some extra time and effort to do it right uh, but i think this is really fun it gives like everyday gameplay a uh, new style a new way of having fun right because every single action which we are doing um, every day in call of dragons we can get some extra rewards out of them right because i think uh, almost every day at least one legion is farming or you are killing darkling or you are using gems or you are using some speed ups right like these quests are everyday action points kind of whatever you are generally doing you are getting just extra more points for the alliance uh, and whenever you're gonna be uh, making more and more points as a 150 participants that's all right out of 200 well that's rewards came in and you're gonna understand soon what kind of rewards you are going to get uh, whenever you are playing right and whenever you are winning in terms of alliance uh, in terms of rewards well of course then like uh, there is different tier of rewards in this uh, event right first of all we need to understand that this is the tiers a uh, bronze silver gold diamond and legendary right every single tier has different kind of rewards depending where your alliance gonna stand right maybe if your alliance will be bronze tier you will have low amount of rewards if you're gonna be a legendary of course you are going to have the best possible rewards out of this uh, event right which is i think every single alliance should be aiming for the legendary tier because the rewards are simply amazing i think everything what's important in call of dragons you're gonna be getting uh, in the rewards of legendary right and yeah max rewards tiers of course um, from bronze tier you're gonna get maximum rewards of eight and on the legendary 10 more right um on the bronze promotion places top five but here like unlimited and rele relegation places bottom six and bottom six are diamond and legendary right uh, it's like a competition between alliances and some alliances who are performing bad they're gonna be get relegated and whoever is continuing in a good way of getting points and they are upper tier like diamond legendary 
of course you are getting more and better rewards and for a long period of time now in terms of general rewards what you are getting whenever you are uh for, like playing this event in an alliance like for example bronze tier rewards are like this like three hour speed up uh two one and some resources right of course most important resource is mana and yeah <clears throat> generally speed ups are kind of good right um, on silver tier, you are getting 8 hour speed up um, on rank 1, right? And some, like, generally these are kind of similar rewards between bronze and silver. And what's important, like, from the gold, some good stuff is coming to the town, right? You are getting some universal tokens, 12 uh, gold keys with 2 8 hour speed up, and legendary medals. And trust me, don't use your legendary medals, save them up for the future KVK because it will be needed. Um, and yeah, from the gold tier, everything kind of changes. Uh, uh, you are getting better and better rewards. We need to mention that every single reward which you are seeing here is gettable, right? Um, and yeah, I think in total, like, great amount of legendary medals, the titan medals, right? And good amount of keys from the both sides. On diamond, of course, we are getting some gems. And gems are one of the most important currency in the game, right? And also, 24-hour speed-up is amazing, of course, uh, even better amount of keys and even more medals, like legendary titan medals are amazing, right? In total, you are getting a huge amount of uh, progress in, in terms of currencies in the game whenever you are on a diamond level. And I think, uh, like, diamond and legendary one, that's the ones you should be aiming for, right? Like, two 24-hour speed-up. Um, come on, like that's a lot of um, gems, there's a lot of uh, legendary tokens and even some le like lot of resources, right? If your al alliance are go is going to stay on legendary one, I think you are getting amazing amount of rewards out of this event, which is if, like for a free-to-play player. Well, if you are in a good alliance, congratulations guys, uh, we are going to get amazing rewards, right? Everybody should be aiming for at least diamond and the maximum, of course, legendary because these rewards are perfect. I don't think I have seen, I have ever seen any event which is giving out so many rewards. Um, like this is the first one and it, that's amazing, right? So everybody should be trying hard. Everybody should be um, making so that you are getting a lot, lot of points for your alliance because if you are not doing that, then you are not going to get legendary or diamond, right? Uh, of course, we, got, we are having some separate rewards, like uh, a personal reward that's here, but, but you're gonna going to claim them whenever you are, your alliance is going to progress through the classes. Like, classes are bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and legendary, and of course, like rewards here, some legendary tokens, you can see, like, generally how much rewards you are going to get from uh, this event is purely amazing. 120 treaties and arrows, uh, for diamond class and yeah like almost every single reward which what we are seeing right now is generally really important five teleportation 15 hours speed up um some gems uh three day speed up um yeah like titan four titan legendary medal five legendary tokens so come on guys this is the event when we everybody who is participating should try their best uh to help the alliance to win right and if you have not had this event in your KVK, uh, brace yourself because you are going to get it really, really soon and prepare your speed ups, prepare your gems and prepare yourself to spend some things in order for you to get some more points for your alliance, right? Of course, in terms of quests right now, like I will try to show how you can get some points um, uh, from the alliance quest, right? Every day you are going to have 10 possible quests and of course you, you can add some more for 600 gems so in like for example i can easily use like every minute counts it will give me 120 points for my alliance and i should use uh 9.3k uh speed up um, construction or training okay like uh, prefer some research let's try to find something easy right something uh with the uh, uh, maybe uh, research buff or something like that. Well, all the easy ones, of so you can see that it's already covered. Uh, people are trying their best to contribute as much points as possible uh, throughout this event, right? And that's the main reason why I think it's sometimes it's hard to get uh, the desired 
um, like speed up, like I was, I was looking for the research run, right? Okay, let's take the every minute counts. Uh, let's go and let's uh, use this speed up in order for us to uh, make uh, the points for your alliance. And that will be like showcase to you guys how, how you can generally use uh, those crates in order for you to get some more power. And in addition, you are going to get uh, more points and more rewards for your alliance, right? Uh, let's try to get there. Let's see how how close um, I am towards the mission. Well, yeah, you can see how much I need to spend in in total. 9,300k speed up. Either it will be uh, construction or training, right? That's like um, I will. I should continue to res to use these speed ups, and whenever I will uh, get to the mark. Um, I will going to have more and more points, right? That's generally how you can get, um, how you can accept, you can cancel it anytime you, you can. Uh, you can also like click on go and it will just go there straight away. And of course, I will try to uh, finish that one as soon as possible uh, because I want to show you guys uh, like uh, the interface, how it actually looks whenever you are uh, making the quests and how it's, it's like adding to your... Uh, itself interface for yourself right like sometimes whenever something new comes out it's hard to understand um, how and the way where to click and where to see the progression and right now I'm trying to show you guys where you can see your progression 6200 which means couple of mages couple of uh, marksmen and that should be it uh, and we will be able to see how much uh, of the points so we're gonna get from out of it. well this is pretty close um i'm gonna use like a um, couple of three hours and that should be it right yeah there's no we're gonna see notification it's gonna say completed uh, you're gonna just click submit and uh you can see the points added to your alliance uh, total points and that's how you can generally get uh, more and more points and more and more rewards i have nine attempts more of course i won't gonna start making all of them right now I will try to look out for my possibly best um, like quest for my current moment, and uh, I, I highly admire events like this because every single item which was in rewards is important. It's great, uh, and yeah, this is the event where you guys should be uh, spending some more time to understand and spending some of your resources, some speed ups, some. Uh, I don't know everything what is required to make as much points as possible during this event, right? Um, I like this kind of events really, really much. Um, I don't need to mention it many, many times because all the important resources which are in the game and currencies you're gonna get from this uh, event. So, as always, guys, share your opinion. Uh, if you have already passed this um, Alliance Mobilization event, tell me what's the results and how. what do you think about, in general, this kind of event, right? Like, Brink of War was first one. Now, this one, do you want to have more events like this or you're gonna, you want to have something totally different? Share your ideas and share your opinions, right? And as always, as if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game. I wish everybody an amazing day, morning or night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.